This color palette alone is tasty. I'm going to say tasty. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to say tasty. <laughs> What's going on everybody SLB coming at you with another video review and this time we're taking a look at Transformers Power of the Primes Alchemist Prime and Submarauder. Whew, that is a mouthful. Anyways let's get a quick look at the packaging. Here he is in his clamshell plastic prison as I started calling these things. Nice artwork up here for some marauder. I think these should have these should have come with collector cards too because I love this artwork. I think this is Excuse me, really cool. Power of the Primes, Prime Master, Alchemist Prime. There he is there, there he is there. On the back of the packaging, it just has some product shots. Three steps to transform. Gimmick, you can put that and that, that and that. Decoy Armor, other Prime Master in the line is Alpha Trion. And that is it for the packaging. Let's get him out of the plastic prison and see what he looks like in hand. So here we have Alchemist Prime and Some Marauder out of the packaging. And really quickly, let's go over what's included. Of course, you get Some Marauder. You get Alchemist Prime. You also get the instruction booklet here, pages 8 and up. But let's be honest, a three-year-old can do this, even though they're probably going to try to put it in their nose. And you also get a melee weapon instead of a cannon or a double barrel blaster. But... A really cool melee weapon here. It looks really good. Nice paint apps right here. It's gray plastic, but it's really nicely done. And like everybody else, you can hold it right there. So there's that. Or what you're supposed to do with it is you're supposed to, or what you can do with it, I should say, is plug it right there. And there you go from some storage. So let's get in on the Prime Master here. This is Alchemist Prime here. And it's a pretty neat little prime master not a lot of paint apps on him but nice mold nonetheless and on uh who was it alpha trion you know they painted his face but on this one not so much but some nice mold of detail throughout there articulation the head is on a ball joint can do a full 360 like that the arms are on ball joints you can go up about that far bend at the hip super tight bend at the knee Wow, I think that's the tightest joint I've ever had on one of these little guys. I mean, stupid tight. Wow. Wow, that just surprises me. Going back to the Prime logo right here, you just got some black dots all throughout. Pretty interesting design. Interest, pretty okay mold, kind of on the bland side, if you ask me. Uh, maybe some more paint apps would have made it a little bit more more interesting but it looks literally like they just kind of copied a dalmatian or a cow there you go but that is that for that one let's get oh uh, well, let's just go into some comparisons so for for comparison here he is next to liege maximo power master and to compare him with some titan masters here he is next to sky tread and Ape Face. So there are those comparisons. And whoop. So let's put him off the side. Let's get in some Marauder here. And again, I'm going to say that these Pretender Shells are probably the coolest thing ever. It's just so ridiculous how we're getting these now. Let's get in close on the details here. The color palette for this one in particular is really interesting. Um, it's almost identical to the color palette for TFC's TFC Toys Poseidon line. You know, you've got this uh, turquoise, this blue with pink throughout, yellow and red, and some nice mola detail to kind of make it look like scales. I mean, it's really interesting and really gnarly in a good way. Articulation wise, all you can do is the arms right there. So there's that. But this 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 guy's probably gonna be my favorite out of the Decepticons because he just looks just so gnarly and so interesting. So there is that. So for the gimmick, you can take your power master here. Or before we get into that, let's just compare him. Here he is next to Skullgrin. 
So yeah. And I also like the fact that the Decepticon Pretender Shells and Power Masters come with melee weapons, where the Autobots come with guns and cannons and stuff. I think that's an interesting thing, in my opinion. So, so let's move on to the gimmick. You can open it up, take your Power Master, throw them in. For some reason, this doesn't close all the way, but you know, there's that. You can't. There's no way to visibly see him inside there. Unlike the Autobots, but you know, he, it's neither here nor there. But there's that. Or what you can do is take him out, flip down the handle, flip down the melee weapon, which peg, which snaps in very nicely. And like I always do, I go feet first, and there he is in weapon mode, with the three-headed trident in the front, which for a melee stabby, 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 which is pretty cool. I like it. I like it indeed. So let's get that done. Let's get that out of the way. Let's do some comparisons really quickly, just both of them. Here he is. Here they are next to Legends, Scrapnel, Shrapnel, whatever you want to call them, and Deluxe, Ripper Snapper. Just to show you what they all look like together. And they're pretty cool. And of course, I'm not going to put him back on there, but you can take him and of course, there you go. It can be held by Deluxe's Legends, Voyager, Leader, what have you. So there is that. So let's get him transformed back. Let's get these guys out of the way. And let's get into some final thoughts for Submarauder and Alchemist Prime. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is for the fourth time, fifth time, fifth time. These pretender shells are hilariously awesome. Who would have thunk we'd ever get these again? They're so cool. They're cool little fidget toys. The detail of them is incredible. The paint apps on the pretender shells is great. They're cool little fidget ones. Again, it, it, it's a very cleansing color palette. You know, the, the, molded on, the molded details on this guy alone is really good. I really like the scales and everything and the, the, the fishy details on him are really nice. Like this is my favorite one out of all five. So here's Skullgren. Here's Metalhawk. Landmine. Cloudburst. Like seriously, like this guy is my favorite. He's just so cool looking, so unique, so different that that's why he's my favorite. So there you have that. And that is my final thought. What are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. All that information will be in the description down below. This is SLB, and this has been my review of Transformers, Power of the Prime, Alchemist Prime, and Submarauder. And this is SLB saying, my childhood hates me. Mm -hmm.